at this point, we know what a linear equation uh, is. Basically, it makes a straight line when we graph it. We also know what the slope-intercept uh, form of a line looks like, and that's where the y is all by itself, and then it equals like the x term and plus or minus another number. But basically, the y is by itself. We can actually take that format and switch it over to that standard form. And uh, in fact, if we take a look up here, a little bit above, we can see that here's the slope intercept form where the y is always by itself equaling the x term plus or minus another number. But over here for the standard form is the x term comes first and it's on the same side of the equation as the y term and the y does not have to be by itself. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not, and then it's equal another number on the other side of the equal sign. So we're going to take the slope intercept form, we're going to make it into the standard form right here. How do we do that? Well, if you go back and remember some of your basic equation solving skills that we've looked at, we know that we can minus 3x on the right side of this equation, and that causes it to cancel out. But now that I've subtracted 3x on the right side, I need to subtract 3x on the left side of the equation. And um, look, you can absolutely put a 1 in front of that y, but you've got to ask yourself this. Um, are these two terms like terms and they're not because this has an x and this has a y so I can't combine these two together so I will just drop my minus 3x straight down because again when we're talking about making it into a standard form equation that x has to come before your y so that's the reason I swung it out there further to the left and now I can drop my y term down and ask yourself well what's going to connect them what's going to combine these two together in the equation it was positive, so I'll put a plus sign. If it was a negative, I would have put a minus sign. And now I can put my equal sign. This is not there anymore, but the negative 2 is. And guess what? This is now, this equation is slope-intercept, rewritten as a standard form linear equation. Let's do um, basically three more to get you a little bit of an idea. Here's the slope-intercept form. We want to rewrite the equation in standard form. So let's just minus 4x, minus 4x, and we're good to go. Drop your y down. It's positive, so I'll put a plus y. This one away, and we're left with positive 2. We're finished. Now this one, um, let me rewrite it so that way you can see what the fraction looks like a little better. There we go. Uh, let's just subtract one third x from both sides. We can pull our one third x straight down. This is a positive y, so we'll make it plus y. This goes away, and it's equal to 4. Now, technically, um, we wouldn't want a fraction for the coefficient of an x or a y term. However, um, since this is pre-algebra, we're just going to let that sit, okay? So for this year, it's good enough, but eventually we're going to teach you how to make this into a whole number. Now, let's go through and do this last one right here. Well, let's rewrite it. y equals negative 6 fifths x. minus 12. Now because it's got the negative sign there, we just need to add 6 fifths x to both sides. And that gives us the following. And so for this year in pre-algebra, we'll consider this good enough to say that it's in standard form.